public forum since that last album died. Here we have John Lydon on Judge Judy. And I got up and I had my bag and as I was tying my bag, he was standing to my left and he lunged forward and headbutted me on the side of the head, leaving a large uh, lump and a bruise on the side of my head. So what did you do? I then, left sir? the restaurant. And then what happened? Then I went home. The next morning I got a call from the tour manager saying that I was going to be replaced. And I said to him, I said, come on now, you know, I'm willing to forgive and forget, you know, I don't want to be working for four months for this guy, and then go, you know, and then three days before my salary triples and I go out on the road to be able to showcase my drumming abilities, I get fired. I said, Stop. say nothing else, Mr. Lydon. You have almost been very patient, sir. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Well, as you can understand, Mr. Williams is a very difficult person to work okay. with. And sure. I think this is classic him. Judge. Well, it wouldn't. I don't change deals once I've struck them. No, neither Mr. Do. He Listen changed... to me. You have to be quiet now. Yes, ma'am. He was he quiet. He okay. changed his mind, and he walked out on me that night. That left me lumbered with a, a lack of a drummer and a tour about to start. And this whole hotel stuff he's coming up with. You must understand, these are small nightclub gigs, and we're traveling vast journeys on a tour bus. We're not staying overnight in most of the towns. Now, Mr. Lydon, There's no I don't point have in me wasting money on separate individual hotel rooms I don't have when a problem. I'm perfectly a able to share, Mr. and Lydon. I'm apparently the pop star. Uh, he Mr. was against the wall, my seat was in the furthest corner, he was sitting opposite. To get by him, had that much room. He got up, his head hit my chin. If anyone should do <laughs> anyone for assault, it should be me to him. Oh, God. That's ish. But I'm not petty and stupid, and I wouldn't so what never... happened? Mr. Lydon... You came? Mr. Liar. Hey. Prove that. So listen, hey. I've got proof. Am I? So I would need no, somebody. A CAT scan, I guess it was what they were. Whatever it is. It said that. CAT that scan, C-O. Shh. Don't be disrespectful, sir. I haven't disrespected you, have I? No, you haven't. Okay. So let's not be disrespectful Apologies. in my home. Okay. It's not my you home. I'm pointing that at. Okay. I mean, he's a nudnik. Okay, but you don't have to be disrespectful. Listen, he's not suing for flicking his ear and slapping the Wait, back so of his head. Wait, saying he had bruise on the front of his he's, head. How did he get there? Because that's not what he was talking about. He's talking about something over here. Well, and I don't know how that Where happened. the brain should be. <laughs> Your Honor. When, when it appears, Mr. Lydon, that you are winning, you're supposed to shut up. <laughs> I can't believe what I've done for this that, guy. And this is the way he, he attacks me, cheats me out of my money. No. And then lies, Mr. Williams, lies about it. Mr. Williams, I want to tell you something. Usually, hey, be respectful. Be oh, respectful sorry. in your house. Don't be disrespectful in my house. You're from, sir. Do you understand? I'm not satisfied, sir, that you were fired without cause. I'm not satisfied that you were, in fact, assaulted because anyone that was assaulted in a way that you say you were assaulted would have reported first thing in the morning or an hour later to an emergency room, which you did not. I am therefore dismissing your lawsuit. That's all. Parties are excused. You may step out. Fairly obvious conclusion. This is an insane business, and people tend to be a bit whack. I understand no. Judge Judy understands no. Mr. Williams doesn't. No one will ever speak up against him or, or stand up for themselves. And that was what es essentially I was doing. I think he'd be better as a painter and decorator. In the final moments of the program, we ask you to write into our address, which is the ever-lovely P.O. Box 2717, New York, New York, 10185. We also have our high-tech email alternative. We want questions, comments, suggestions on this or any of the other shows you might have seen in our series. We want to hear from you. We also want to thank the folks who help participate in the assembling of the show. We want to thank producer Patrick, New York Video, First Avenue between 52nd and 53rd Streets, New York Video experts all. And lastly, but not leastly, we want to thank camera woman Kim. Yes, thank you so much, Kimmy, for helping us put this together in the late evening hours. And finally, we want to thank you for watching this program. When can you catch us? We are on Sunday nights, Monday mornings. That's Sunday nights, Monday mornings, 1.30 a.m. on Channel 69. We rerun on Friday nights, Saturday mornings. That's Friday nights, Saturday mornings, 1.30 a.m. on the Much Crisper Channel 16. We ask that you come back next week, but first we just want to note that we're going to close out, do a little sad closing. We are definitely going to be doing a deceased artiste episode-length 
tribute to this gentleman in the weeks and months to come like we did with Marcello Mastriani. Sometimes it takes us, because we admire these people's work so much, it takes us a few weeks to put these episodes together because we want to do these people justice. Definitely, I was a big fan of Sam Fuller. We are going to be paying tribute to him in the weeks to come. What we just want to show now, a little tiny segment, maybe just a few seconds, from a very serious documentary presented here in America just one time only on PBS, Falkenau, I believe it was called, Falkenau, Mission of the Impossible. It deals with Sam's experiences in the Army in World War II in the 40s. These were things he, of course, documented in his fiction film, Big Red One. I have to admit, I do like that film, but I actually really enjoyed this film all the more because it's Sam telling you his war stories against photographic and actual locations, in the actual locations in which he did these things. We say farewell, Sam Fuller on the Media Funhouse. I hope a lot of Nazis will think twice 